Oh my god, what is this? You're playing on the old school Iron Man again? And it's been a huge time jump with with lots of taint. Yes, it's been a while, um, both time-wise and in-game time-wise and stuff like that. So nothing's really changed too much. Um, probably a lot. But we haven't made, I would say in terms of old school Iron Man progress, we've made very minimal. But what we have done, and again, this is where the taint is. You'll notice the helm is now green instead of gray. What I decided to do was I decided to take all of my old school Iron Man, which are all around the same stage, and this was a while ago, like a year ago at this point or some crap. I don't know. And I decided to consolidate them all under this guy. And I figured if I'm going to play an Iron Man, I want everything to be together. And I'll probably play on this guy just because why not? Um, you know, I like this guy um, for a singular reason. It has 74 agility. So I have only two levels ago to be able to do Zora rather than a lot of them being a little bit lower. So I like this the most for that. That's the reason why it was chosen. Um, the other reason is the other Iron Man, which is Death Killer, is my main Iron Man in RuneScape 3, which is cl getting close to maxing. So I am going to have basically zero time to play on it. So there's that one. And then the other one, which has now left the group, I just don't want to play. I'll be honest. Don't know why. Just don't want to play. So this is the guy that we chose. Um, also, I made videos on this one so I, I figure why not you know what i mean like this is what the video first episode one is and why not so i don't know what's been shown i'm just going to quickly go through things got bearer's gloves don't know if i showed it in the previous video or not but we got bearer's gloves got them fairly low uh i got when i was transferring everything over some things i did was i transferred over um basically i transferred over a bunch of raw food. I'll show you guys the bank in a minute, but nothing crazy. I think the most notable thing is I got a bunch of raw Karambwans and a bunch of raw shark. Uh, 12,000 raw Karambwans, by the way. So I'm going to boost. And I fished that myself. There was This wasn't like someone else did it for me. I did it myself just on a different account. Um, it was actually on Death Killer, mind you. <laughs> or one of the accounts. One of the two. And then on Death Killer, what I was doing was I was using him, you know, before I started playing runescape through iron man or what during it or whatever i was using him to do barrows runs and i got myself a dark uh helm and the guffing's chain skirt and i kind of stopped there i figure if i want anything else i can just i have to earn it myself and the reason why i wanted these was for the singular reason that they're tank leggings and a tank helmet which i can use for the flight caves and I want to. So that was my logic there. These are our stats, kind of where we're at, sitting at now. Currently just going for the defender grind. It took me 133 kills to get my bronze defender. And in about eight kills, I got the iron one. So everything kind of evened out in that case. So we're about on drop, right? Trying to get that steel one now. So going to be here for a while. Well, this is awkward. I got the steel defender right when I'm about to get 99 smithing on my uh, RuneScape 3 Iron Man. Okay, so just to show off, this is the other account I used to... Um, help out the other account and the reason i'm mentioning is because i'm thinking about joining it in the group again just to help me kind of do what it was doing i don't think this is the one that was fishing i think this is the one that was doing barrows um yeah i believe this is the one that was doing barrows let me go look at the collection log here uh barrows chests i guess not what the fuck was the point of this character then i guess there was no point because it clearly wasn't fucking fishing yeah, this is it. So you know it's been a while when the website pops up. So this is the account I was using. Um, obviously, I'm not using it anymore, or I am using it, but it's my main character in RS3. So this was the account I was using. Um, the main thing I was doing here was fishing, and I believe I did Barrows. Let me see here. I think this is the account I did Barrows on. Bear's chest. Yes, this is the account I did Barrows on. And I only gave him, out of all these Barrows pieces, the only thing I gave him was the... Gothic's chain skirt and the uh, Daharak headpiece. Woo, Rune Defender, baby. Did not take that long. Took about 20 minutes, I would say. So, gonna go and let me drop this bad boy. And I'm actually gonna go and grind a handful more token things. Um, yeah, gonna grind a handful more tokens for the sole purpose of just. I feel like it's a good idea. So while I don't want to go dry, the main reason I don't mind going dry on these guys is they have a okay alkable list and they're okay XP, right? They're just better than the previous one. So it's not as bad when you go dry on these guys. It's still not good. Don't get me wrong. They don't have a lot of very useful things. As you can see, I've only gotten, I've gotten so far 22 black knives in 12 uh, darts from the couple I've killed so far uh, from the two but yeah they 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 aren't bad they're okay xp 
um, etc, etc. So I don't mind going dry, but I don't want to. So I got the Dragon Defender, which is good. It got it done in about 62 kills, 63 kills, sorry. We got it done, which is good. We got about 60k in Alks, which was meh, could have been better, but we're done. I'm going to go and I have a I'm thinking what I sh want to do, what I should do, stuff like that. I'm thinking what I'll work on next is probably just keep doing Slayer. I do need to get my Slayer level up. Alternatively, and I will say the alternative path is to instead focus more on the sl on the skilling side of things and eventually get like the broken zombie axe and use that and stuff like that. But I think for now, I'm going to just work on Slayer all and, you know, accumulating just getting back into old school i think is the best way to do it and not try to min max my path i think maybe just focus on general skilling and getting into the groove of things and going from there i do want to get a fire cape sooner rather than later it might seem a bit uneventful but this i just got 50 slayer nice and the reason this is nice is because it is one of the requirements i have left to complete sins of the father uh the only two requirements left are now 60 fletching as well as actually completing, I think it's a taste of hope, is what I have left to do. Just got 52 fletching, which means I can now make broad arrows. I'm going to keep going and making headless arrows here because I need to get all of these headless arrows made in order to have enough to be able to make up to level 59 fletching, I believe. Um, I could be wrong with my math, and I probably am. All right, well, unloading all my cash jack leaves me about 3,000 short. So I don't know how many that is but i don't have enough <laughs> that was like you hunt almost 300k sorry my eyes are really weird on this other monitor god oh god sorry <laughs> so this is about 300k which is actually not bad i didn't realize i had all that money stored let me go and see so i need another i think i need about three thousand more and our 20 more packs this is going extremely fast, I'll be honest. I'm about to hit 57. Boom, 57 fletching. This is going really fast. I think what I'm probably going to do, like, long-term for fletching is probably this. I mean, this is exactly what we do in RS3. Um, and I think I'm going to just do this in OSRS. And it's actually better in OSRS simply because you don't have the store limits, uh, daily buy limit, so I can just save up money and then do it all at once. So that's what I'm thinking. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably do this long term for all my fletching levels, but I do eventually want to get 65, I think is what it is, 65 or 70, whichever one allows me to start fletching. Uh, let me finish this and then 65 or 70, whichever one allows me to start making long bows of the ash. Boom, yeah, 70. So I want to get up to 70 eventually. Okay. This is 59 fletching, which is the requirement for Path Glove Free. The reason why it's a requirement is because it's needed to make a Mythal Grapple. I still need to get 59 smithing. Uh, so there's that. And I'm just finishing the last of the arrows like so. We now have 12,500 broad arrows, which are not that good. I just got 92 agility in RuneScape 3 at the same exact time. That is been years since I play RuneScape 3. And yet I still know how to prayer flick. <sighs> Not good at it, but I still know how to do it. I have no idea why I got a uh, out of old RuneScape, old RuneScape proceeds to fucking prayer flick a task. <laughs> oh, by the way, in case anyone's curious, I only prayer flick for fun, for like jokes. I don't actually fucking prayer flick. You can, you never see me actually prayer flicking when I'm actually playing. I only do it for just short bursts of pure just to laugh at i'm i'm not a big prayer flicker i'll be honest it to me it just it's not what i don't enjoy it. knowing how to do it is one thing but actively doing it i think is another my, my main point to what i'm trying to say is i don't like the fact that it's a, a that it's a mechanic in the game i respect that some people want to take advantage of it and i would be lying and a hypocrite if i didn't mention that I don't take advantage of it at times, but I don't really use it that much. My main logic is I just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel, I just don't like it, right? It's just not a gameplay style I enjoy. Okay, sorry if you can hear the washer in the background, but anyways, got our second hard clue casket here. I would have actually had a third hard clue, but uh, I decided to do more hellhound kills. So my inventory went out and I got a message saying, oh, you would have gotten a hard clue and I was upset. So I just left. So anyways, open this one up. 
Hopefully we get jack shit like before. So there is a new piece of content that I'm a little interested in trying out. I don't know how much I'll like it because I'm not a big fan of farming contracts or Slayer for that matter. And it's basically that. And that is Hunter Rumors. I don't know too much about it. I just know it exists. But basically you get assigned a task to hunt a certain creature, I believe, or something of that nature. And then once you do, you get a sack. And then once you open that fat sack, you then get rewards that scale um so for example once i get to level i believe it's 57 i'll be able to open up the adept sacks and the adept sacks can give various things you get um food you get some rewards you get quetzal feed which i i guess you use to do something with quetzals i think that's a travel uh thing but the one of the main things you get food which is really nice um, it's actually really nice food. You can get some really good food from this. Additionally, they have a common drop rate of some herbs, some of which are really nice, like Renars are super nice. They're fairly common from that one. I also feel obligated to mention, because I'm sure someone's going to say it, I don't actually need 59 or even 55 or 54 smithing in order to get a grapple. I technically can just go and kill, like, the barbarian spirits and all the other stuff inside that, like, inside, like, the whirlpool. And, um you know that you unlock with like the mithril dragons and stuff like that technically i can do that i can kill those bad boys for a grapple but big fat but i'm gonna need to get my smithing up in the future anyways so i would rather get my smithing up and make it than just go and you know fight for it. especially because smithing isn't too bad it's just a money sink so i just need to acquire funds and i think this is clue number three i forget can we get the msb we got nothing oh my we got a zami page actually that's kind of nice i'll be honest okay i have another casket really hoping for that magic short bow got nunchucks so I've looked into a piece of content that to me is brand new, but to probably everybody else, it is kind of standard. And that is the Moons of Peril. For those of you who don't know, this is essentially like a bear. My, what I'm told is it's basically a bear's 2.0. The best part about it is it has bad luck protection, which is good, or RNG protection, which is really good. So I want to give it a shot. Additionally, I am basically at the level where you're supposed to be doing it. For what I'm told, like this like kind of statage is basically where you want to be. Kind of base 70 melees is generally... I would say I only have 60 attack, but this is about where you're supposed to be um, for it in order to do it. Now, you need to have one of each weapon type. Um, uh, you need to have one of each damage type for melee in order to hurt them. So we need one stab weapon, one slash weapon, and one crush weapon. This is Temple of the Eye completed. I did this for the sole reason of runecrafting levels. So I find it really awesome and also a little funny. Because the HD plugin makes you think of weird. Um, back in my day, in, in my day, I'm being serious. In my day, when I used to, used to like painstakingly level rune crafting till you got to 27. Then once you got to 27, you would go and you would just do cosmic rune crafting. Nowadays, you don't even do that. You literally just do the abyss mini game, which is what I do. It's what I do on what I did in this card. You do the abyss mini game. Then you go and do the temple of the eye. And then you can just do guardians of the rift or whatever it's called. Um, this thing, the, the this this mini game, the runecrafting mini game, and you can just get your runecrafting up a bunch. I'm not complaining, in the sense of oh how they made it easy escape. No, I'm actually happy. I love easy escape stuff. So there's that. Anyways, I did this for the sole reason of I need 20 runecrafting to go forward. So that's why I did that. Yo, they should have added some bros into the game. Oh my god, unironically cool as shit, dude. I actually cannot wait to unlock the uh, the quest or the the perils of the moon guys i'm gonna be honest it sounds like such a fun boss like when i was reading into it earlier it sounds like a super fun boss fight this is children of the sun completed i get access to valamore and a single quest point which is nice now i have one more quest to do or two more quests to do, really might sound a little weird but i've actually been liking old school runescape without the hd plugin in i don't know why i used to love the hd plugin when i was when it came out but nowadays i kind of like it without i i don't really can't explain why i think it's just because it feels more natural is the best way to put it oh my god thing messed up <laughs> the add-on messed up stop resisting arrest stop resisting arrest just stop resisting arrest okay this is twilight promise god i cannot read i just will just sneeze this is twilight's promise completed now only one more quest until we can do moons of peril
I wonder if we're too low level for this. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think we are. I think I just need to get good. I do notice I'm not hitting the guy as much. I think I might need a better weapon. Um, okay, so it's like every two attacks I get to do an action. Or every two, I get two attacks in, then um, it does an action. Okay. I should say effect. I don't know. I feel like action is a bad word for because they are attacking me, but it's... Honestly, this is overall a pretty chill boss. I like it. I th I want is this like the actual boss? Because there's like the 500 HP and everything, so that makes me feel like it is the normal boss. <laughs> yeah, you got it. All right, cool. Now I'm teleported out. Yeah. So yeah, my new strategy is gonna be to try not to eat unless I absolutely have to during his normal phase. I'm going to see if that makes a difference. Because I wonder if that was what was fucking me up. <laughs> Definitely seems to be going a little bit better this way. I think that was a factor. I mean, like, it just seems like he, like, for the first, like, two-thirds of the fight, he was doing, like, no damage. And then suddenly, when he gets to his last, like, 100 HP, it's like suddenly he, like, turns on the fucking, you know... The fucking he he takes a a, a, a prayer a a super set in an overload and then puts on all his prayers and it's like okay bud let's not do this now. Like look at that like he's just pumping baby. On baby. Let's go blood moon down nice. Okay let's get into this one this one doesn't look too bad. But uh, let's give it a go before I talk shit. This is practice for... This is practice for Zuck, bro. I'm actually... I'm going to be honest. It's actually really cool that Jagex implemented a mechanic like this. So it, it, is, it isn't Zuck practice, but it's almost like, hey, here's a minor version of a really important mechanic later down the road. And it's... I don't know. I just think it's a cool little homage. Okay, there they are. That's all of them dead. Let's complete the quest. Okay, I'm going to see if the quest skills count towards KC. I hope they do. So let's do this. And they do. Nice. So we are going to... Oh my god, wow. A lot of stuff. We're going to... Bank all of this. Okay, first two chests. And I'm doing this mostly to show off. 1 in 56 for Blue Moon. 1 in 56 for Eclipse. We got nothing. We got soft clay. We got Harlander. I mean, none of it's bad. None of it's good. But none okay, chest number three. Let's get it. Never lucky, dude. Never lucky, bro. Okay, fourth chest, I believe. Not going to get lucky, but you know, you never know. Oh my god, dude. Nothing. <laughs> Any hoosers. Let's get it. Okay, another chest. I don't know if this glows when you get an item or not. I did not look into that, so probably know there could be a tell. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I didn't get shit. What is this? Oh, I'm guessing that's get like. I didn't mean to claim that. Shit, dude. It's over. It's over. I have to quit. Uh, but no. Nah, how the fuck do I get that? Anyways, all right, I I want to do one more, but I also feel like I should lay down in bed. But well, let's see what we get here. Like I said, I, well, I will mention, even though it's not on my list, I'm okay with water orbs. This is XP. Each one of those water orbs, let me just say here, OSRS water orb. I'll just tell you, each one, each water orb gives me water battle stats is 100 XP. This is... I believe that's 4.5k. Yeah, that's 4.5k crafting XP. All right, this is going to be my last one for the night, regardless of what we get. I want something good, but we're still early, so. Nice, more arrows and Harlanders. Not complaining about that. Again, more arrows is always good. Also, I am I really am going to show how much I play. used to play Old School Runescape here, but for anyone who's curious why I don't use Magic Secutars when collecting seaweed, it's because they don't work. Now, I have not actually checked if they changed this or not but to my previous knowledge giant seaweed did not work 
with magic executors so there's no point in even using them i know a lot of people do but just in case but there's no there's no reason to just you don't need to again if it's changed i have not been corrected but i just googled and as of one year ago uh it hasn't changed so if it changed in the last year that's when it would have had to change but i'm um, for now just so you guys know the magic secretaries don't actually work on giant seaweed but ultra compost does so make sure you use your ultra compost buddy Okay, cool. We've got rumors circling on an uh, old, odd, snowy night. You can follow up on them. Would you like this one to run back? Um, what I'm doing, because these guys have a really fast respawn, is I'm just sitting here, catching it, and then releasing it. I think this is actually going to be the best move, to be honest. Anyways, so this is the farming contract, or this is the very first one. We can stack these up. I want to get another rumor. Uh, Barbtail Cabot. Um, it for me, so I need to get the thing. So anyways, let's... Oh, oh my god, we got a... Hunter, I think it was actually kind of close. Uh, how much XP did we drop from that? I don't actually pay attention. Anyways, I did not pay attention to the XP that dropped. Anyways, let's open this bad boy up. We got Hunter Spear Tips, the meat, and we got some Mahogany Lock. Okay, this is the last set of bars that need to be made here. Let me actually take all my money out of the coffee. Quick, I don't have much left. Um, boom, but we now have all of everything made. So this should be enough steel bars to get me up to level 59 smithing. I'm going to make plate bodies and then I'm going to elk them. So give me a little bit to go do this. Um, I'm going to go and knock out probably what's going to be a very long and boring process. Let me get it started. All right, been going at this for about a half hour. I'm looking to be getting about 125k XP an hour by making steel plate bodies. It's actually not bad. It isn't as AFK as you would think though, because you end up smithing the bodies fairly quickly and you have to bank really quickly as well. I did remember going and making um, dart tips on and like arrows and stuff like that on my other uh iron man iron man to when i was leveling their smithing up and i'll be honest and say well it is definitely more afk it's a lot slower xp per hour doing that because yes you get to afk more but you only do one bar at a time while while doing it with this you end up doing all five bars at a time so it goes much quicker this way um so I don't really regret this. I'm going to get a nice chunk of money. Once I alc everything, I'll have 900k, which can be really nice. So and finally, we have 59 smithing. This went super quick, I'll be completely honest. Smithing these chess pieces was super fast, I'll be honest. It was really nice. So this is a large amount of money. I think if this is, yeah, we're going to alc this for like almost 900k, which is nice. I do need to go and get some more coal for the myth bars. Okay, let's go and make ourselves the myth grapple. And then let's go and make ourselves some bolts. Where are the bolts? Here we go. And boom. We now have everything we need to make ourselves the myth grapple, which is going to be nice. So let's grab a rope. Let's grab feathers. And let's do this. We're going to make these into bolts. Then we're going to put this onto that. And we have a myth grapple. We're going to attach this to a rope. And we now have a myth grapple which is super nice. I'm going to drop these. I don't care about those. Okay, finished getting approval. So I'm going to go and collect. I'm just going to show you guys what we are at right now. I put 75K in. Um, well, it was at 37. So I just probably put a 38K in. I also have it at nine herbler, one wood. This is just so I can get a tiny bit of maple logs. Um, so I'm going to do that. And we just collect. This has not been, obviously, I have not done any maintenance on this for years. So this is not going to reflect how much we truly would have gotten. But let's see what we get here. We got a fair bit of herbs. Nice. We got 862 maple logs, which is nice. We got a Terramin seed, Guam seed, Eret seed, and Arlander seed. We have 33 quarms, which is good. 26 lantidimes, 29 renars, which is really nice. Uh, 84 Terramins, which is whatever. 58 are Eretz, which is nice. Uh, 36 dwarf weeds, 75 Harlanders, That's good. Uh, 46 Aventus, which is nice. And 26 Canatines. This is 60 magic. I was watching a YouTube video, so I had to redo the clip. 60 magic in the back, which is nice. We don't really get, we get access to getting the God Cape, which is going to be useful. So I can go and get that in the future. I'm actually going to stop alking here. I don't really want to do this right now. I want to do other stuff. I'd rather alk when I am doing something, you know, AFK and RS3 or something. I just want to go and get like the bare minimum stuff done 
So I decided I'm going to do some pickpocketing. I need to get to 56 thieving. So I'm just going to go and do some, <clears throat> some blackjacking. The method I use for blackjacking it, for, for bearded bandits is this. You lure him to this spot here. So if you ever mess up, you can just step right over here. And then once your health bar is gone, you can try to knock out again. It's a safe way. I'm not going to say safe, but it's just a reliable way to be able to basically reset everything. And this is 56 thieving. <clears throat> Honestly, doing this isn't bad. Um, once I got to 55, I started doing these bandits. And I was getting, it says, 83k XP per hour. So kind of quite happy with that result. But anyways, this is 56. We're done. And this is 56 um, Slayer, which is the last requirement I need in order to do Path of Glove free. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break from doing Slayer. I'm going to be honest. I really hate this Bloodveld task. It's really slow. And I don't really want to have to use prayer pots to speed it up by doing melee. So I might skip it. I might just take a deep breath and just waste prayer pot resources we'll see this is eyes of gluffery completed which is super nice because i need to do this i also get 12k magic xp which is definitely welcome and a nice fat chunk of runecrafting xp the funny thing is we are super close to having 35 runecrafting which is a requirement to be able to start buying battle staves from varrock so that's nice alternatively i could just get like six more magic uh levels and just buy it from the other place anyways we got all that we now have everything we need to start the path of gluffery and this is path of gluffery completed nice dude this is great because now we have access to acquire the warp scepter now i'm gonna be killing the tortoises rather oops i'm gonna be killing the tortoises rather than the terror birds because the terror birds seem like they can attack you from range or may or melee so i don't want to deal with that so i might just attack the tortoises so i did try attacking the terror birds and while it does work you have to be long range and fuck that noise i'd rather just say spot a tortoise while af king so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> so i'm close to on drop rate i have not seen anything but i've made a fair bit of cash here i'll be honest now i, I won't lie i did uh, do some af king while i was doing stuff today so i was doing it on mobile but what I did notice while doing this is we get a fair bit of Swamp Tar, which is nice. And we got a fair bit of Alkables. We've gotten, I think I've gotten like two Rune Kite Shields, a fair bit of Warhammers, um, <clears throat> and a handful of Addy Plate Bodies. Okay, let's see what we got here. Probably crap, but let's see. MSB. Oh. So I did math, and I have killed over 400 of these guys that's not a joke <laughs> and i have yet to get it i'm technically dry that being said i'm not too upset about it i'll be completely honest do i want to finish this sooner rather than later yes i would rather have gotten this in the first kill and not on the 500th kill don't get me wrong but i'm not too upset because it is range xp a fat amount of it i'm actually about an hour away from 75 range and it is a fair bit of money in alkables so that's nice i'm getting swamp tar which is herb xp I'm getting some adamant ore, which is just all around nice, you know, just to have for the future, I guess. I don't know, it's stackable, so I'm gathering it. I'm getting a small amount of death runes, which is just, you know, just useful for the future. And there's that. So mainly just here for the money, Swamp Tar, and of course the XP. I obviously want it. I would have hoped for more hard clues, but I've only gotten one from these guys, which is kind of crazy, but oh well. Anyways, here's hoping we'll finish it soon, but you never know. 75 range all from killing these bad boys um i don't know i'm tempted to grab some magic and do some magic casting so i mentioned it for and i want to reiterate it again here this series is mostly about me having fun in old school runescape again and nothing more i do eventually want to take on the inferno but i'm trying to learn to have fun in old school runescape again and that being said something fun has come up someone invited me to a group to go join their group iron group so i'm going to join them now here's the thing i was very i'm very rigid with joining groups because i don't want to join a group iron group that is miles ahead like i don't want to join a group of like three other 2k total people who all are full god wars gear and they're all just farming chambers as eric's and you know, the, basically the progression's done right i don't want to join something like that 
what I do want to join is the group that I'm is the, is this group now because they're in a what I want to say is exactly what I'm looking for. There's two people in this. There's three people total in this group other than me. Two of which are around the same stage as me, or so I'm told. But they're all grinding the prif, right? We're not at prif yet. We're all grinding the prif. That's the stage they're at. And then there's the one dude who's the group leader who's further ahead. He is at prif currently grinding chamber Xerix or chamber Xerix corrupted gauntlet, and he's going to he's trying to get his bofa and full crystal armor. So he is further ahead than us. Additionally. They're doing like group bandos, which isn't that big of a deal. So I'm probably going to join them. I think it's going to be a good idea and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So in seven days from now, I will be joining them and we'll just see how it goes. All right. I am nearly out of arrows and I think rather than going and making the money and making more broad bolts, etc., I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here for a bit and get my farming up at the tithe farm to start working on that because I need to get up to 65 in order to start doing farming contracts. And then from there, I'm going to set up my farming guild to do farming contracts. And then we'll circle back to here after that's what I'm thinking. So I looked a good bit into farming contracts and after spending a lot of time in it, I now understand why people say farming contracts are good. All you do is pre-plant a bunch of seeds and then you just go and once they're all grown, you just pick up your con like once a day, you just go and do your contracts and you cycle through them until you get a contract you can't do. Then from there, you plant that and then you wait the next day and you just repeat that over and over again. I think my math was right. I could be wrong. It was spot on 54 farming in the bag. This means I can now do the next level of tithe farm. So I'm going to get basically double the XP I was getting before over double actually the XP I was getting before, which is good. Also, in case anyone's curious, I've stacked up a fair bit of reward points. Um, give me one second. And I looked into it and the smart thing to do is to buy a herb sack and then seed box isn't really that big of a deal. It's only, it's mostly an ultimate Iron Man thing, Okay, this might seem like a random level, but I really wanted to show this because this, to me, is cool. This is 56 farming, which means we can now start growing quarms. This is actually really great. The good thing about quarms is that they are part of your strength. So I can now make basically a super attack and super strength, which is really nice. Granted, the dragon battle axe is basically just a super strength potion, so you don't really need it. It's just really nice to have it in potion form and not have to take a second dose of super attack. I don't know. Well, just in time for the long weekend, this should be level 65 farming, which means I can now start doing medium contracts in the farming guild. And because it's a long weekend, I'm going to also be doing some mining while I'm waiting for contracts to grow, etc. So it's late and I want to go to bed, but I do want to do some farming contracts. But another thing I want to do is actually want to spend all my points. I have 720 points. So give me one second to get everything set up for this point spending. And then we're going to go do it. All right, so while I teleport, I'm actually going to talk about what I'm doing. So I took all of my raw or not raw, but grimy herbs out of my bank. And I'm actually going to go and buy... I should be able to buy about 20 seed packs from all of the stuff I've done. And I just want to see what I get. I think you get 10 herbs per one. So I'm going to go, oops, wrong thing. So I'm going to go and buy, I should be able to buy like a bunch of these. So I should be able to buy 20. Uh, yeah, I still have some more points. Out. So what I'm going to do is you can just do bank all. And I'm just going to do this for all of them. And then we're going to see how many we actually get from all of this. So let me go do this with all the points. Like I said, I should be able to get about 20 from this. I'm going to be honest, this is the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. I dropped every single herb in my bank, then quickly took all of the ones out, and then there was warning messages and everything, and I got scared out of my mind, and then I saw someone walk over to my stack, and I got nervous, and I don't know, man. But these are the herbs we got. So if we open up the price evaluator here, we can see we got ourselves uh, a fair bit of guams, which are honestly useless, but whatever. We can turn them and stuff. We got a uh, fair bit of marantils, which are whatever. Terramins, which are whatever. We got ourselves, t I think this is 18 Renards. Sorry, it's hard for me to see right now. Yeah, 18 Renars, which is good. 23 Arlanders, which isn't bad. 11 Lantanems, which is pretty good. Uh, 12 Irrits, which is, you know, pretty good. 8 Quorms, nice. 5 Dwarf Weeds, 7 Aventos, and 4 Canatines. So I'm not really going to complain. Got 268k in herbs. Honestly, not at all worth it. Um, I do kind of, I'm going to be honest, I do kind of regret buying it. I probably should have gotten... Uh, the seed box and saved up for the herb bag, but it was a worth, in my opinion, it was a worthwhile experiment just to show it off. And I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I just figured show it off. So I just realized I'm blind. It's literally the third option. Do you have any jobs for me? Okay. Uh, well, 
Interested in farming contracts? Blah, blah, blah. I like a uh, farming contract, please. I'd like, I'd like a medium contract. So let's see what we get. Medium contract. Please grow a cactus and I'll reward you if, once you've checked its health. Uh, thank you. So my, for my first allotment, I'm actually going to plant a watermelon seed and or plant some watermelon seeds and use some ultra compost on it. Then for the second one here, all right, for the second one here, I'm actually going to plant the strawberry seeds that I just got, which is super nice. I'm going to go do that, ultra compost, and water it. So boom. And then for the flower bed here, all right, for the flower bed, I want to always be growing limpers in my flower beds because they are going to be incredibly useful for growing up. What are they called? Sorry, I've already figured what they're called. Uh, for getting super strengths in the future, so I want to do that. Then I do want to plant some stuff in the herb patch. i got to figure out where that is real quick. Right, for the herb patch inside here, I want to always be growing an ear seed. Whenever it's inside uh, the farming guild, I always want to grow them inside the uh, inside here. For the other ones, I'm also going to be growing them, but um, I do have other things I'll grow in some of the other patches. Uh, in, you know, just in case you know I run out of ear seeds or if I'm close to low in ear seeds, I will always be growing ear here. So when I get low, I'll stop planting them at my other patches and I'll plant some of my other stuff. But for now, here's my top priority. But for the trees, we're actually going to be planting a maple tree here. Um, I don't have a spade, don't I? Uh, what do I have? Oh, I put it in my bank, didn't I? Hold on. Anyways, for the spade for the uh, tree, I'm always going to be growing these uh, maple trees for now eventually i will maybe replace it but i don't think you need to play yeah you don't need to water this so we're good here so anyways i'm gonna go and put all this stuff back in here because i don't really need it you're fucking kidding me I, this is not a joke literally first kill shit dude oh my god <laughs> i got a leaf plated sword first kill what the fuck dude <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I'm not even kidding you. I came into these guys because apparently they drop um, <laughs> cactus seeds pretty commonly. In Master Farmers, it's like 1 in 3k or some shit. I was like, okay, I'll just come to these guys and first kill them. Get a fucking inflated sword. Oh my god, that's actually hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, that's hilarious. Well, I'm just gonna say, I don't feel like banking, so I'm just gonna use it. I think it's gonna be better than the. I think in this gear might be better. I don't know, actually, but, uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, I mean... Bro, I don't need to come here anymore. Two kills and done, dude. Two kills and done. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This character's RNG is crazy when it matters. When, it, when it's, like, something, like, I desperately want, this character's RNG has been on point. Like... Dragon Defender, I got fairly quickly, I'll be honest. Uh, Imp Catcher, I got done in like a minute. It's not even kidding. I, I, literally, I went like one to one with every single thing for for the uh, for Imp Catcher. And now Taroth's uh, first kill, Leaf Bladed Sword. Second kill, I get the freaking Cactus Seed I wanted. That's insane, dude. Holy shit. Okay, I am planting the Cactus Seed now. The reason why you want to plant Cactus Seeds ahead of time is because they take nine hours to grow, so I did that one. I also want to plant this Jenga berry seed. I hope I can, because this is the other seed I wanted to plant, and I happen to get it while I was, uh, I happen to get one while I was doing Master Farmers. The limpert's already done. What the heck? So the game plan I did worked amazingly well. Uh, I grew the cactus overnight, and then I woke up in the morning, like literally first thing in the morning, did a seaweed and birdhouse run, and then right when I finished, the cactus was done growing. I then went and did a bunch of contracts, and I was able to get five contracts done based off of just all the stuff I planted until I got back to the point where I need two more seeds. One is a Jenga berry, and one is a cactus, but luckily we have five seed packs we can open, which is pretty good. So I'm going to... Well, for anyone's curious how I get my Jenga berries, they're a 1 in 129 drop chance from Master Farmers, so I just pickpocket Master Farmers uh, to get them. I know it's not the most effective way, but it is what I do. I'm also going to start actually doing farm runs. Now, the main thing I care about farm runs is actually going to be the herbs. I don't care about anything else, but I am going to be growing things that are secondary. Hold on one second.
but I'm going to be growing some secondary things. I'm going to be growing my limpers because these things are going to be really nice for the future. Uh, just to be able to stock up on a bunch of limpworts are going to be super nice for uh, acquiring large uh, large amounts of quorums because I do have large amounts of them. Luckily, they go super quickly. So, I mean, honestly, I could just sit at the farming guild and AFK stuff while growing them if I really wanted to. But I'd rather just plant them and do them part of like every hour, 20 minute grow uh, personally. Additionally, I'm going to be growing the little bit of snake grass I have. Um... I know it's not necessary, but I'm going to be growing stamp grass just because I might, I'm going to be here anyways, and I have a handful of seeds to use, so I might as well just put them in, a, in like four patches, I think is how many I need. So I'm just going to put these in a couple patches. So there you go. That's about the gist of it. Um, and similar to what I said before, I'm not too worried about with the snap grass. I'm not too worried about these growing. It's mostly just the limports and the herbs I care about, so... Anyways, I'm going to go plant a bunch of them. The places I'm going to go to are North Ardy, where I'm at now. I'm then going to go to Catherby, South Salador, Karand, Mauritania, and then Trollheim. Uh, Trollheim is one I'm going to be planting different stuff, and I will go over that later. But for now, let me do all the others. Well, it's time for the next dreaded step, and that is mining. I need to get my mining up to 70, and then consequently my smithy up to 70. So what I'm going to do while I work on my herb lore slash farming, mostly herb lore, obviously farming is just secondary to herb lore, um, is I'm going to be doing Motherload Mine. This is kind of AFK, not really, but I'm going to be doing this, and then whenever my herb runs are up, I'm just going to go do herb runs. We do have a long weekend today, so hopefully I can get a shit ton of herbs over the weekend and a shit ton of mining done. And yeah, I can finally do AFK-ish stuff, so that's good. It took a little bit to get here, but we're finally at the afk stuff so that's good anyways i'll catch you guys when something significant happens but who knows